And hopefully we're about to start NIP versus uh, Shi Yu. Shi Yu. Shi Yu. Joined by Threat today here on the casting desk. So we're uh, somewhat late, but ESWC are just about ready to go. I do believe the knife is currently underway. Hopefully the pistol will uh, be soon afterwards. So while we've been away, I've been selling some skins. I've <laughs> been moving things here and there. So we can show you maybe the skins that are coming up for 650k. While we uh, try to fill time threat before the impending start of this match. Yeah, and it's going to be a really interesting one. As we talked about earlier, we don't know much about th the Asian teams at all. So, Shi Yu versus NIP on Mirage. You know what the dream would be? What? Shi Yu starting T and they will buy five Molotovs on the pistol. Ooh. So, <coughs> we are live, 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 it seems, into the pistol. It's going to be Shi Yu starting on the CT side. One Diffuse Kit. Three sets of Kevlar. It's got a Molotov as well on Moriarty. F full Kevlar on the NIP side. They're going to creep. They're going to play contact. So as soon as they are seen by the enemy, they are going to start to charge. And indeed, uh, Moriarty did spot the players there, or at least Alu. And you'll see that Molotov will come in. The NIP are going to patiently wait, and uh, Du is going to use that to his advantage and peak. But he's going to get taken down by Alu now. Du's position is uh, sorry, his teammate got taken down. Moriarty. But it was all kicks, <laughs> all kicks. Whatever, well, all the frag is coming in fast. Only two CTs left. There. The bomb has been planted by NIP Forest with two fast headshots. <laughs> and a very I'm interesting position on the pistol round because it's very hard to get more <coughs> than one kill from that position. And usually you want to have a position where you can buy time and just keep some ground until you can go for the retake. So. She you uh, already on the pistol round showing some funky play there on the B side. Yeah, they've gone for uh, somewhat of a force here on the second round. So let's have a look at these names on the Shi Yu side. Reaction, Moriarty, Advent, Zoking, and Orkix. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. So Exist taking down Reaction, and uh, Orkix is going to be falling soon afterwards. So far, so good here on the anti eco from NIP. And uh, 5v3 already. You have to wonder if Shi Yu will choose to. Like, uh, Zoking's Zo got full armor, for example, so is it an option for him to save? Moriarty doing what he can, which isn't going to be a lot. So, uh, if I was Moriarty, I'd be probably going for a save here. Sorry, I mean Zoking. Yeah, and a very funky force buy from Chiyu, going for three Cavalars, two people that could have bought Cavalar didn't. So, kind of a half buy here from Chiyu. Yeah, so... Well, it actually looks like four people bought Kevlar. Maybe I'm mistaken because no, no, no. There was I think it was only I only saw two with Kevlar, so I don't know where the money went on the rest of them. Yeah, I mean, unless it, they it threw it pistols to them, maybe or I don't know. It makes sense if you look at their money now because they're gonna have one up there on reaction. Yeah. Okay, so they have stacked the uh, A site and NIP are headed over there fairly quickly indeed. So, Advent's gonna be the first to try and go for some aggression there. Gonna go into the flames. And the rest of his team will get wiped out soon afterwards. So. And that's excellent from NIP. It's, you can really tell that NIP has done some homework on their anti ecos, just going for the five man executor A, Molotoving every position, and just pushing up with this. And there's nothing you can do. You saw, even though Shiyu had a five man stack on A, they didn't get a single kill. So you can see that uh, unusual force buy from Shiyu will mean that some of their players will have limited funds. Advent going for a P90. See Alu getting a tag already with the AWP. Reaction uh, will be down to 16 HP, so he will have to be very careful with how he picks and look out for the nades as well. well the smoke's coming up towards the B site. An IP. They'll throw one flash in, and then not much movement will happen, so maybe suggesting a fake? We will see. Moriarty holding the angle. The smoke's about to disappear. How many will he spot there? Forrest has, has been spotted, but he's found himself two frags. That's a B bomb site completely clear, and Shiyu should go for the immediate save here. Yeah, very bad start here from Shiyu. Just force kill, getting the two entry kills onto that B site. And I'm surprised that it didn't call for a rotation earlier, considering NIP had smoked him off. He had no information whatsoever, so in that position you almost need two players at B because as soon as one player go, goes down, there's the round is basically over. So Shiyu, rumored to be the strongest team in China. 
according to producer Reese, they wreck everyone else in the country. And he is nodding. So we'll see if they can mount an offense on NIP as these rounds go forward. But it's going to be 4-0 for now. She, I was going to say continuing with the P90. The uh, AWP of reaction has gone down. Only the M4 and the P90 will survive. And uh, will they go for the force buy? They should actually try to save her. Maybe they can buy some PG-50s, just try to pressure the economy. We'll see a C set here. But they're going for the eco, which is the right play. Advent spent a bit of cash on the mollies and smoke. And two flashes as well. And the sm first smoke will go down, so see if they can use the numbers. See if they can steal a gun here or there. Fairly standard setup from the CT so far. Just the one over towards the B-bomb site, which will be Moriarty. I think he's... I, don't, I'm a, I can't tell if he's on the balcony or by the van. But if he's on the balcony, he could spot with the little crack all the way to the uh, stairs. No, he's on the... On the uh, thanks to the van. So he'll have minimal information. But maybe uh, fortunately for Shiyu, it seems that NIP might be going towards A with the lurker they have there. Most of the NIP plays in mid for the moment. Those dinks coming in and... Uh, We'll have Zokin coming with the distraction through to connect and finding himself three frags now. So all of a sudden, NIP have been decimated by just one player with a distraction in CPL. And this is still doable for NIP though, considering there's no armor on Chiyu. Right, I don't know how uh, Orkix didn't get a shot off there, maybe he was looking at the radar, but Forrest finds himself one frag. 25 seconds left, however, and uh, we can see Zoking playing the sandwich position. Has a player to spot in CT as well, so he doesn't need to peek. He's going to see his face, and that's Exist down. Looking at the ace is uh, Zoking here, and there's a highlight reel already. An ace killed the entire enemy team. No <laughs> idea how they made that happen. That but we'll see you on YouTube. Yeah, that round was so weird in so many ways. First, NIP actually opting to go for a mid push on a anti low buy round. Usually, you just want to take some mid control and then fall back towards a simple A or B push. And then, of course, soaking, just getting, getting it all. Yeah, getting, getting the A's. Yeah, and that's really important. That could be the uh, round that stops the the bleed here from Shiyu. It is NIP up three rounds at the moment, but a five zero would have been a horrible start. So Orchid's going to get a frag onto Forest up top mid, almost taking down Freiburg as well, but he will find the frag. An important one as he is carrying the bomb. And uh, he is alone in mid with his two teammates over towards the A site. So he needs to get out of there. If he loses the bomb in mid, then NIP will be in even more trouble. They're at the man disadvantage at the moment. Reaction falling to exist. And uh, that P90 finally comes into play, taking down Alu. So there's only one CT on the A site at the moment, and Exist is going to lose the duel to the P90. Only Freiburg remains now versus three. And he's still looking for that P90. <laughs> the P90 is going to the <laughs> shop through the wall. This is awesome. Uh, Freiburg's heard the trade fragger. And uh, Moriarty's going to come in. And Shiyu is not really playing the basics, as you usually see on Mirage. Actually having one guy dropping down under pass going for the peak towards the B apartments, getting the first kill, then just rotating back to mid, knowing that NIP is probably waiting for him there, gets a second kill without even calling for a flash from a teammate. So, incredibly weird play here from Shiyu. It's actually a bit difficult to read who is getting the frags here, but I'll, c I'll come into that in a second. We have a push here, a fast push coming in from NIP. Forrest with two frags, again, been a few fr rounds where he's done that for his team, finds a third one with reaction He's, uh, he was still moving while he was taking the op shots there, so they were never going to land. Four versus two now, and the bomb should get planted without trouble. Forrest finding one more, and that's uh, Moriarty to do what he can here. Forrest going to go for the peak, but he got f t uh, the team flash. And Moriarty's only got 13 HP. We'll try and save, but Forrest finds another frag to make an ace straight back. Yeah, Forrest has been playing really good with all <coughs> 11 kills already in seven rounds. And uh, I'm very surprised to see what she will do this round. It seems like they almost... It's like they're not playing with Mumble or TeamSpeak. They're just running around. They have... Uh, they all have Dou TV in front of their name. So it makes it actually quite hard to see who is finding the frags because there's so much to read in a short space of time. So it's going to be a fast push up mid here from NIP. And again, she on another buy, continuing with the, uh, the P90 on the advent. 
Okay, because he's only got the CZ. This time, the P90... Uh, actually, still alive for now. Okay, well, everyone's dead, basically, on both sides. I have no idea what's going on right now, Threat. But it's uh, Shiyu with a short advantage. Uh, let's get right. Goes to plant the bomb. It's going to be the retake here from the CTs. Both coming through the shop area. That is a nice peek from Reaction. And they will find themselves their third round. And I have no idea how to analyze these rounds. It looks like they try to push everywhere. Um, and I paid try to go for a default where they also pushed everywhere and then just everybody traded <laughs> yeah. everywhere on the map. I was looking at one person running past the wall and then four people were dead. It's <laughs> like, so, okay, well, I don't know. And well, <coughs> I'm gonna just look at the overview now and try to make some sense Okay. of how she was playing. All right, so we've got NIP continuing with the default there. We're gonna have uh, Forrest with the AWP and he, is he gonna take a peek? He's going to take the passive one, and oh, he's going to tag Zoking through the uh, corner of the wall there, and that will give him the advantage he needs to take Forrest down. Freiburg coming in from the underpass, and uh, there's no one covering the rotation from the CTs back into Connector, so Freiburg gets a free, a, a free frag. Then we've got trades all over the place. Alu goes down, walking through the palace. P90 back on deck, coming in to cause some carnage towards Connector. Now, uh, I think they're all looking for the sound cues, trying to figure out what's going on. Get Right has been identified in the jungle area. And uh, we'll just about make it out, getting tagged with the AWP through the wall. So, two versus two now. Bomb is over towards B, and Get Right needs to try and get over there to help his teammate. Indeed, he will come through the underpass. So, both Swedish players in the mid-area now. And Reaction still looking in the CPO. Oh, the timing. He could get shot in the back here. Let's see, Exist takes down Moriarty, so just reaction left now. And uh, the bomb is going to head over towards A. Get right, going to hold the flank from CPL. And there it is. NIP get another round on the board. And I wonder if she will be forced to an eco now. Yeah, it looks like they're going to eco, which means NIP is looking to get up to 7 3 as T on Mirage. And it's <laughs> she went for mid aggression there. They got to enter kill into forest. And then when they were going to go back to connector, they ran with their knife out. Yeah, like no they were completely clueless they could be come from underground. Nobody covering connector, sorry, under, under part, underground as well. Just no one even holding the angle there. Just one, one guy running back on his own. Got exposed. So again, NIP with that early mid presence, 2 1 short. And you can see exist position as well. Just going to have a more aggressive look into connector. Three men stack into A from Shiyu. And uh, NIP are just trying to identify what the plan is here from the CTs. But Forrest has been left exposed here in the uh, in that mid area, trying to get a peek onto short. So that's advantage. The CTs for a second or two exist, taking down Zoking. And that AWP should not be retrievable anytime soon from Shiyu. In fact, they have vacated the B bomb site, so no one's going to come over towards short to try and get that. And uh, it seems NIP have made the right decisions. Exist holding the rotations there, Moriarty going down, and the empty B bomb site will be taken by NIP. A very straightforward anti eco here from NIP. And once again, I just want to point out that NIP is playing a lot better on these anti ecos than what we've seen for them the past few weeks. So this is great stuff from NIP. All Kicks has managed to pick up the AWP, and he will be making a run for it. Exist, however, is coming in through the apps, and he should hear him. So uh, this may not get saved after all. He's, I don't know why he went for the push there instead of trying to save it, but it will go straight back to Forest. So, four-round lead here for NIP, and the buy will come in for Shiyu once again. Only are Famas on Shoking and Advent, so it's going to be a very low buy here. And it looks like NIP is going for the fast A player here with the bomb towards A slope. <coughs> Okay, so angles are being held. Shiyu playing close on the site. And again, there's a distinct, distinct lack of nades here on the CT side. Very difficult economy-wise. Freiburg going to catch Orkix on short. He will get taken down. And the bomb starting to move towards the mid-area. So this may be a pinch onto the B-bomb site with uh, a lurker towards A, taking down the rotators. Look at the aggression here from Shiyu. They've lost the player and they're going to try and get some real estate, but there is a Molly to contend with. And they've got to be careful for the flank as well. 
Okay, right, it's going to turn into the lurker towards B as the decision has now been made by NIP to move towards A after all, where there's some aggression on A slope as well. Soaking falling to the Orpa Forest, however. Only Advent remaining now. Four versus two, sorry, actually. Moriarty is there as well. But he is over to the B, towards the B bomb site. Advent reloading, completely exposed, gets taken down for free by Freiburg, and only Moriarty remains. One yeah. versus three. He should go for the save here. And once again, NAP just taking map mid control from Chiyu. We see no player from Chiyu in mid, and if they have a player in mid, it's usually just one guy picking from Connector and Windrow all alone. NAP just kills that guy, and then Chiyu is forced into defensive awkward positions, and then NAP just walks all over them. So Chiyu should try to do the mid aggression again, or try to be more people toward mid, towards mid. Maybe have one guy from A go Connector, one guy on B try to push forward on Cat. Just try to work together to take mid, because they can't really play the pug games where you just challenge one by one versus a team like NIP. So, five round lead now for NIP on the T side. Shiyu forced onto an eco once again. And uh, they haven't had a, any opportunity really for their economy to get off the ground here, so... Maybe tough times ahead for the Chinese team on the CT side of Mirage. So, it's going to be a... Uh, a Swedish train over towards the B bomb site on that SJ. <laughs> Flying Molotov all the way onto the bench area, and Ali will find the kill with the Mac 10. Only two players remaining now. There's one of them identified, only Zoking left. Ali down to 7 HP. Other than that, not much going on for the Chinese team in this round. So we'll see how long uh, Zoking can last. Ooh, gets a dink onto Freiburg actually, so we'll see if he can find himself a save here. Trying to pre-fire exist. Finds the frag anyway. Alu's close up now. Again, of only 7 HP. That could be a little bit more money. Oh, he's baiting for his teammate on Delpan. And there it is. Forrest taking down the frag and saving Alu's bacon. 9-3 to three and... Sure, you can make a comeback as Chi on Mirage. But seeing how Chi is playing now, I find it very unlikely that you're going to have any good T-strats. Because by the looks of it, they're just <coughs> playing almost like a pu random pug game. Okay, so let's see if they can do any more. They're sending three people into the V-bomb site. And they've chosen to abandon mid altogether. I guess they're going to have a look from connector on short, in fact, as opposed to challenging from CPL. So there is a uh, forest with the AWP on mid on his own, and Reaction will find a frag this time. So, so far, so good. Ruthless aggression coming in from Shiyu, but he gets his knife out without checking the whole corner. Goes down to the trade fragger. And there's al already two players on B for Shiyu. So super fast rotation to the B site, and the bomb is actually still in T spawn. And I think NAP is just looking to get some kills here, because if they manage to get one or two more kills, they can force Shiyu to one or two more ecos in this half. So six round leads they're sitting on for the time being. There is 50 seconds, there are 50 seconds on the clock here. Four things to continue. Exist gets a pick in mid, and uh, that's no information as to where the bomb might be. Exist could go towards short. He could go towards connector. She won't really have an idea at the moment. Get right lurking on slope. Advent seems to have... Not the timing. Oh, I'm not sure if he's seen him. I don't think he's seen him yet. He's still looking around as to what might be going on. There's the indicator now. Get right with a nade up. Maybe thinking the yeah, site's clear. Won't even be needed as reaction will take out the, take him out. 15 seconds now, and this should be Shiyu's round. So probably a case of damage limitation. Is this going to go for it though? But get caught out from site four to nine in favour of NIP. And if NIP wins this round, they will probably get 11 to four because Shiyu will spend the last money they have in their bank. And let's see if they decide to actually try to contend over mid, or if they're going to go for the funky, super defensive style. Looks like they're going to put someone in window room now, at least. NIP sending four into mid this time. Reaction gets the first frag. Orkix is the one that go to go down. So Reaction could go for a re-peak if a teammate from A flashes him in, but he's going to get smoked off before that can happen. So we'll see how this is played. NIP with the entire team into mid at the moment. One player headed down underpass towards B, and uh, Freiburg's going to be in Connector looking for an opening. I can only presume the top of Connector is smoked at the moment. And it looks like the pinch attempt towards B is on. Moriarty holding that sneaky angle towards A, but he's 
Reaction coming in, and uh, Moriarty won't announce his position. He won't attempt to trade. He's seen one player. Oh, doesn't manage to get the frag onto Fryback, actually. Two versus four, and we have a bit of goatee V-lag, it seems. Hopefully, it will reconnect before this. these uh, seconds tick down. You can see there's a potential flank coming in from Shi Yu there, from Zoe King. And I think it's, go it's going to be down to him if he can find some frags. If he can find some frags, then uh, maybe she can win the round. Otherwise, who knows what can happen. So, I think we're going to... Uh, it looks like we're going to have a disconnect. We'll try and find out wh exactly what is going on. But uh, I think we're probably looking at an at 11 for half hour, as you, as you mentioned here. Yeah, I mean, sure, that guy is choking, can flank there from B apartments, but it doesn't really matter. Because even if you get the first kill, NIP will just reposition themselves and... There's nothing you can do from that point. Do you see NIP having much trouble on uh, their CT side? No, not at all. Because th the way they're playing now, Shiyu is... They're just they're just running and shooting. There doesn't seem to be any like thought behind any of their plays. You saw the last round, they had two people peeking from window to mid. They just stood next to yeah, each other. I think there's a bit of traffic there. Uh, that's like making it twice as easy. Yeah, for one of you to get shot. Yeah, I wonder if the M4 was thinking about dropping down to underpass and the AWP actually just blocked him. That that would make sense. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just, I mean, super funky play from them. And uh, I mean, I, w I w <laughs> would be very surprised if they actually had some f something planned on the T side mm. that can catch NIP off guard. I mean, maybe they have a basic A execute. Maybe they have a default, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Yeah, and with this kind of round deficit, they're going to need uh, a lot of a lot of like gimmicks, basically, to to break the buys of NIP. So um, there's an issue with GoTV, but I don't believe the match has been poured up, paused. I'm being told. So we'll keep, <laughs> we'll keep you updated, guys. I don't I don't know what we can really do in this situation. Um, maybe again, we are behind the schedule, so maybe we can look at the schedule and see what is coming up following this match. Producer Reese. Okay, so our next match is due to be Cloud9 versus Key Stars. Then we're going to have NIP back again versus LDLC White. And uh, I think it was last year EASWC Threat was saying that they lost to this team who were under a different name, Platinum. So they'll be seeking some revenge. Then CLG versus Renegades. Envy versus Renegades, finishing off with Na'Vi versus Luminosity. I could actually see Renegades winning both those games. The way Envas has been playing recently, they're very uh, inconsistent. And Renegades has been... I mean, the last time they were in Europe, I think they beat Envas. They, they beat some top European <laughs> team. Renegades, that was... They beat Liquid. Um, and Fnatic. Fnatic, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, they beat... F I'm pretty sure they beat Fnatic. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I yeah, on overpass, I think I remember this match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was that was <laughs> that was so funny. Okay, so it's paused at ten four in favor of NIP. So uh, hopefully they can resolve these issues again. There are often teething issues at the beginning of any tournament, so uh, no judging there. Um, but hopefully we can resume soon. I don't know how long this delay is going to be. Oh, but maybe, Mr. Producer Reese, we can show them the lovely skins that I've transferred to the account. Ah, yes. What better to fill time with? Is it a... So it's a technical problem that they are working on, say, at ESWC. Thank you, Mr. Producer Reese. Is it a fish gun this time, or is it... No, 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 no. It's um, it's a winged gun. It's a bird gun. A bird gun. We've gone from a fish gun to a bird gun. We've got the Icarus fell, which technically Icarus wasn't a bird, but... I mean, he had like bird parts, so I'm going to yeah. call it the bird gun. The bird gun. We've gone. I bought the fish gun for myself. Oh, you did? I did. I bought I bought a Wasteland Rebel AK this morning because I was kind of getting bored of the case hardened one, and mine's not really like a nice case hardened one. But I I wasn't really enjoying that either. It's kind of very dark, depressing kind of colours. So I bought the fish gun. I'm kind of liking the fish gun. I bought a Star Trek fish gun. But it's for like a, a, a water quid. dragon, the one with the water dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The mammal, it's mammals or whatever. <laughs> Dolphins are not mammals, someone tweeted me. So, for subs, at 650k, we are going to give away this AWP Medusa. I was using this, right? And, like, 
this is not available on the market at all. You just can't buy it. But if you actually use it, all the cool parts are at the back on the stock, which you can't even see when you're using it. All you can see is the tentacles, the hair tentacles. So, so I don't think it's amazing. But if you like it, it's cool to look at, but you're going to get shot while looking at it anyway. That's going to be a giveaway for subs at 650k. And then we're going to have two open raffles this time. The first is an M4A4 Poseidon. So you do not have to be a subscriber to enter a raffle for this gun. All you have to do is be following the channel. And the other one is the bird gun, Icarus Fell, factory new. You can see the wings in the middle. There's wingy, wing type things. Or well, there's feathers anyway. Feathers are normally attached to wings, right? So I guess it's a wing. That just looks like random bubbles. I like it. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I, I think I prefer the hot rod. Although generally speaking, I, I like variation. I quite like the dark water actually. But you probably don't even know what I'm talking about, no. do you? Because you don't give a monkeys about any of this stuff. Which is perfectly fine. Yeah. Maybe if I didn't, I'd, I'd have more money. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not one of those people who are against skins. I just don't... You've got other things to do. Yeah, exactly. I just like to use the vanilla ones. You're too much of a boss to worry about skins. Yeah, exactly. Let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so let's put it that way. I'm a, I'm a boss. All right, guys, I think it's time for a break because uh, issues. So hopefully these will be resolved soon and we can get on with the rest of the match. But in the meantime, enjoy the schedule page.
Hello and welcome back. So ESWC are ready to resume. The match is going to resume at the beginning of the second half. The score is 10-5 in favour. Oh, okay, so it's not. Alright, well, apparently it's going to finish 10-5, so spoiler alert. Shiyu, um, I'm curious to see how it's going to actually work, or if we've just been lied to by a producer, Reese, which is probably more likely. So, there is a... Uh, Oh, there he is, Moriarty, with the UMP, the bomb's falling down into, into his favor as well. The USP kill! Okay, 10-5 incoming. One-man advantage here for Shi Yu as NIP tries to salvage this round. I don't even know what... <laughs> Shi Yu went aggressively with one player towards B apps and one guy hit with an UMP towards the car. Let's go. Alright, so... Alu saving get right for now. Alu coming in once again, and it is indeed 11 4. Producer Reese has falsified information. <laughs> and to think, I wasn't going to commentate that actually because I was like, oh, well, you know what's go going to happen. But no, we would like to. If you think this is a fireball offense, tweet at underscore producer Reese and say you're fired. And I Wait, no, no, it's producer underscore Reese on Twitter, I think. I really hope we can see some kind of funky T strat from Shiyu, at least. Come on, some Molotovs and some smokes on the pistol. I don't want to see a Glock train. Well, that's three Glock trains for you. Have a one smoke. And oh, oh raid boss. Yeah, double raid boss. Hmm. Is it? I only see one. Yeah, it should be double raid boss. He must have forgotten. I'm pretty sure there's a Tech 9 in T spawn. There must be, because no. they... Wait, ad advent and reaction. Yeah, because they have two smokes and no other nades. Sh let's, what's, what's the money like? Okay, there we go. Advent. Yeah, and there's reaction. a. There must be a Don't tech nine in T spawn. Oh, his reaction just picks it up in <laughs> T spawn as well. That's amazing. Okay, so the first one is going to uh, kill Get right there. So we'll see. Reaction's lurking in mid at the moment to stop the rotations through shorts and uh, advance all the way over towards the A site and he's kept two plays there actually for NIP so that's going to be a late rotation but there is one in the apps who's made his way through underpass let's see if advent can get there in time to put a stop to his shenanigans Forrest going to find a frag onto, the, in, onto Moriarty meanwhile Alu coming in well they're all falling now Alu with two frags there from the apartments they must have thought apartments were safe and had no one watching it whatsoever only advent now versus two the bomb is fairly quite ticked at the moment Forresto has a kit and he's got to go for the headshot here. He's gone for the spray. He's gone for the burst fire from the balcony. I think if he'd just gone for the single bullet, he probably would have killed him. A lot of basic mistake from Shiyu that round for forgetting the tech 9 and T-spawn. For then, like half a minute. And then it looked like they had a guy in B apps, but still Alu some way managed to flank them. He went, he went, he was, I think he was... The, the guy lurking mid, was uh, he wasn't looking in mid. So Ali went down the underpass. And then obviously they were positioned on the site thinking that there's going to be nobody apps. And Ali got two frags there. And then the burst fire. Yeah, that's also a very odd, odd decision. Maybe he thought there was only like one second left on the diffuse. And he had to burst him. I don't know. Burst fire used to be good a very long time ago. But then he nerfed it. And now it sucks. So three NIP players remaining actually. Shiyu with uh, a few frags here. Can they get the bomb down though? That's going to be all important and they will not. 13 rounds to 4. Go NIP. So should see the buy coming in from Shiyu. Indeed we will. Zoking picking up the AK. More AKs to follow as there is no money for NAWP. Advent. What is he going to buy here? Okay, he's gone for the Kevlar and AK and that's going to mean... No money in the bank, so no nades for him. Maybe he was considering a glill to get some nades for an execute. I don't know, but it will be the AK after all. So, Shiyu looking for the headshots. And the bomb is alone in Palace. Very, very dangerous play here, since it's a position which where the CTS usually can go aggressive. Indeed. 
<coughs> so, frag for each team so far. Short is being contended at the moment by all kicks, but there's so much smoke there. It'll be random as to who wins the duel. Freiburg and Alu going to take down Advent and Zoking respectively. And uh, the bomb is stuck on the A site, while all kicks is nowhere near it in the ladder room. Get one frag on to get right there. It's got 16 HP left. It's been spotted. Alu only has 5 HP, however. And there is a fair amount of time on the clock, so... This is still doable for Okix, but he's not going to choose an optimal position for the reload. And uh, Alu will, with 5 HP, get that final frag. Yeah, and Shiyu has to buy this round, even though they only have uh, around 2-3k. They can't let NIP get to 15 rounds. Are they actually going to eco here? Yeah, they're going for the eco, which means they're tr trying to win from uh, a 15-4 deficit versus NIP as T on Mirage. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see how far they can get. Ali getting the first frag on to all kicks there. And uh, Zoking will need to get that Tech 9 working if they even want to get a bomb plant in this round. Bit of a spray through, and uh, they will start the charge. Get right, gonna get one frag because he had a bit of time to reload there, and he's just standing large and in charge. On the van, finally gets taken down, but again, the bomb plant needs to happen fast here to give them any chance of doing something in the following round. But that nade is going to put a stop to that. Alu coming in with a HE. And that's that. 11 match points now for NIP. These are best of ones here. Yeah, it would be a pretty epic comeback if they can make this happen. And let's see what they decide to do. Maybe they will do... Their defaults again. I mean, they had some proper smokes in mid, but they had some very weird decisions. For example, the bomb going palace alone, which means it's impossible to rotate to the B site. It just makes no sense. Well, hopefully it'll be a learning experience for them. Trades coming in in the palace area. And again, with what you were mentioning about the bomb being in there in the previous round, if that kind of thing happens, and that's almost round over straight away. Freiburg left with 5 HP, and the bomb will rotate away from uh, T-spawn. There's nobody left over towards A for now, just a lurker in mid. Get right finding a frag towards B onto Moriarty. Man advantage now for the CTs. And uh, they are the CTs are now quite spread out across the map. He's trying to get some information and get right. Spotted a player, and he's trying to move back, trying to allow his teammates some time to come in f to help. Wasted a few seconds, and Forrest is in position. He will make the call that there are many footsteps. Only one pair of footsteps left to find exist in Freiburg. And again, a similar situation to the previous round. Freiburg just with 5 HP as Alu was. But his, his position is unknown. So, what is Orkix going to do? <laughs> Look at the name of his gun. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Because he's Chinese as well. That makes it even more awesome. All right, so Freiburg will use the smoke that uh, all kicks threw down to get behind the bench area. And uh, as long as he doesn't push forward, then it could be his round. It's been spotted, but Freiburg will find a frag regardless. 16 to 4 in favor of NIP. Yeah, and I'm a bit disappointed, even though we I didn't have that high of uh, expectations on Chiyu. Yeah. But four rounds when you start at CT on Mirage. And I mean, they just lack knowledge of the basics. Well, it like. not much else to say, really, apart from that. I love the name of that AK-47. That's hilarious. So we will go to a break and find out when the uh, next match is due to begin. Again, as we've been told, all the second matches of today won't finish until... Won't start, sorry, until all the first matches are finished. So uh, we don't have weird overlaps and so on. So uh, as soon as we get the information as to what time it should be starting, we'll put it on the schedule page and we will see you soon, hopefully, for the second match of today.